Today our journey brings us to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, where we have a couple of game stores in town, including Play and Trade, where we match competitor prices. Not only that, but they had a sale going on. Buy two, get one free on games under $15. I'm down. Well, I saw that because I always go to the glass case first, whatever I can, because I always want to check out, see what Nintendo games they have. Now, whether I'm buying or not, and oftentimes I am buying, I love seeing just what they keep behind the glass case. Some harder to find games, some rarities, things of that nature. You know, like the Mega Man games, you can never go wrong. They have a Donkey Kong Jr. Math, cool to see. Wouldn't mind grabbing another one of these just to have in the collection, you know. Nice variety of Nintendo games as well as Super Nintendo games down here. I see you three ninjas. And I also like it when game stores do stuff like this, but uh, another glass case right on the shelf here, which um, includes some Game Boy games. I do love me some Game Boy. The DS games are in the folders. Not a bad deal, too. Three for five, okay. They are a limited run games distributor, so if you missed a pre-order on a limited run games game, they might just have it for you. Got some Switch games as well. I see a Master System down here. That's right. I'll take it. They also had flyers right on the table of Music City Multicon. This is why I was in town. And thank you, any video game store that helps promote these local video game shows coming to town. The person behind the counter said, hey, you can also check out, we have a XI, the JVC XI. It is a Genesis Sega CD combo. A couple of other cool things to see in the glass case as well. Big old bin full of the cheapo games, and I love me some cheap games. You know that. Some of my favorite games are super cheap. And sometimes by looking at the cheap games' prices, you can kind of get a gauge of what the prices will be throughout the rest of the store, too. So I love looking at the Nintendo games, even Super Nintendo games. Genesis games as well, and then on the bottom down here. Why would you keep these on the bottom? These are great. Here's Adventure for the Atari 2600. There's some great Atari games down here. Not just 2600, but 7800 as well, sometimes in the box, too. Now, the idea would be to find a game like Pitfall when you're here for a convention, because, I mean, David Crane is here, so look to see who the guests are. You get him to sign your game for you. Another fun game here from Activision, Spider Fighter. I remember playing this one pretty re regularly. Carnival by Sega. That's right, there's a Sega game on the 2600. It's not the only one, too. Dark Chambers for the 7800. This game plays a lot like Gauntlet. You might want to check that out, too, if you're looking for 7800 games. Nice wall full of accessories here at Play and Train. I love this old-school kiosk. Man, I haven't seen something like this since, like, the early 2000s. Love this. Decent selection of Nintendo DS games as well, if you're hunting. Got some more kind of loose games behind the glass case. Nice PS5 selection here. And again... <laughs> Just in time for Halloween, Friday the 13th on the screen there. Gotta love that. Got a few Wii games. Cool to see that they had uh, this game here. Love the Dragon Quest games. Always fun to look out for. And then more and more games, too. Need a copy of Skyrim? Well, they have a lot, and they're $2 each. <laughs> more games off to the side, too. Sometimes you gotta look around the corners to find the good stuff, like the TurboGrafx-16 stuff, or the, you know, the, uh, the odds and ends of other games, too. So, yeah, make sure you check the corners and around the corners of stores. Never know what you're gonna find. Oh, there's the GameCube games. I was looking for those. A whole bunch of PS1 games, too. Thank you, Play and Trade. And now let's move uh, just down the road, not too far away. A few blocks away, you'll find Game Trader. And Game Trader has a wall of Famicom games. And some of these games I've never even heard of, ever. They just look cool. I mean, it's like, it's like when I go game hunting in my dreams and I keep finding these games I've never heard of. That's what it felt like when I came to the store. It's like, here's a game I've never heard of. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> Boxed Super Famicom games as well. And there's also this, you know, a nice selection of non-Famicom games, too. I know not everyone's into imports like I am, but uh, you're going to find some cool stuff here. Including games that come in their own custom cases. That might be kind of fun. Own custom clamshells. I do like it when they just have stacks of visible games that you can reach for yourself and see for yourself and hold them and look at the condition and see the prices on the games. That's right. I love it when they price their games right on the shelf. Oh, here's a classic. Mystic Quest. Love this one. Not as many N64 games as I was expecting, but there's still a lot to choose from. And here's a nice wall full of Sega. See, that's what I love about visiting video game stores from uh, not from where I'm near, because the regionality. Sometimes you'll find different games that wouldn't last two seconds uh, in, in the Northwest, but somewhere else. They're just sitting on the store shelf, and it's, maybe it's been there for years. We don't know. Another favorite of mine, Sword of Vermilion. Love this one. Oh, great. Zillion. That's one of the best uh, Master System games right here, too. <laughs> I love the cover for pro wrestling as well. Oh, here's a nice uh, wrestling game for Atari as well. See, so much Atari over here. I, I don't I don't see a whole lot of Atari in the stores I usually go to. And when I do, it's always like in a back bin somewhere all dusty and dirty. And they showcase the Atari, man. Atari's great. And here's just a couple look at just some vague wall shots. Now, I'm not a huge disc collector, but just letting you know that they have plenty of disc-based games, too, here at Game Trader. Uh, this place also had a bunch of, like, anime statues and all that, too. So, um, you know, you get your anime statues. They had some uh, Funko Pops. There's 
some you know larger sized ones too. Some more accessories for you. Oh, I see that TurboGrafx 16 poster. Very cool. And then behind the glass case, I saved the, I saved the case for last on this one. Uh, this is where you'll find the kind of better games or maybe just more interesting games too. And again, sometimes not necessarily you know more rare or more expensive, but just some of the games that you might have been looking for in the first place. You might find it in the glass case as opposed to just finding it randomly on the shelf with everything else. This is Gorbachev game over here too. That's actually a kind of a fun puzzle game for the Famicom. Nice to see just random stuff on the back wall there. Tons of portables. More interesting items near the check stand. Got the plushies. The stuffy, fluffy, fluffy wuffies. I love them. And Switch games. And again, they have a big old poster talking about Music City Multicon right when you walk in. As well as this wrestling show. I want to check out the wrestling show too. They also had a bin of Hyperkin stuff, which is fine. I mean, sometimes, you know, clone consoles are clone consoles. They are what they are and they work for how they work. So around this time, I just noticed a couple of indie games on the wall from Second Dimension. I love it when video game stores also sell like indie titles, like unlicensed games. I'm not talking about bootlegs and repros and stuff like that. I mean like games that are like legit. You'll know, stack a console, stack of systems, including accessories down there. And Game Trader, a very good store. Now, in case you're curious, we stopped by the Goodwill. They didn't really have anything. And then we stopped by this pawn shop. And the pawn shop had a few things, except for the fact that they were writing the prices with Sharpie directly onto the cases themselves. Oh, why? Well, then behind the glass case, ah, you know, just your standard Ferris stuff. So we were in town for Music City Multicon. Check out my video of that expo, and I'll see you again, hopefully at an expo near you.